So I'm on day 17 of my excursion up the northeast of England. And it feels like that anyway. I've only been here one day and I've absolutely loved every single second of it. Nothing's been wasted in the bloody shot. Nothing's been wasted. So I've left Dunbar and I was driving down and I saw the cove. And this is it. It's like something that time forgot. It really is. You've got, I'll pan you around, you've got a, a red building, a terracotta building, and you've got a blue building behind the camera. You've got them lovely little cottages over the other side of the bay. The time's still well in, which is fantastic. You've got a few boats, so it's obviously a working fishing bay. Behind the camera you've got some lovely leading lines, literal leading lines that have got some real amazing character in. Obviously the plates of the ocean, the plates of the, the sea have pushed against other plates <laughs> to create these really wonderful, what would be an abstract kind of photograph, which I'm sure I will be doing. This is the, the business for me. I've been just to the left of the camera and I've done a, a, a few panoramas. I've taken some really nice, what will be black and white, high contrast black and white of the building over there. I think the ones I, take, I took earlier on won't work because the angle I was at, I've lost the bottom of the buildings. But from this perspective here, you can actually get the whole buildings in. Oh, bloody hell. My plan for today was to go to Dunbar for high tide, put back to the youth hostel, have some lunch, download my photographs, and have a rest. It just won't happen. Bit of rain but you could quite literally spend a full day here. If we look, there's a photographic opportunity either for the Grand Vista or some lovely abstracts using the textures and patterns in the wall. It does feel like a black and white scene. Although there's a lovely blue building behind the camera. I've done some wide panoramas from up that way. I've done some high contrast black and whites of the building. I will be finishing this little segment shortly and I'm going to take some photographs from here then I'll head round back up the, the tunnel it's quite a dark tunnel and round to have a look at them buildings over there they have got character in absolute oodles probably out of frame yeah I think that might work really well from over there the angle feels a bit face on if you like a bit a bit, a bit front on, I'd rather a bit, a bit more angle to the scene, but obviously the further over there you go, the more of the uh, detritus in the background you introduce. And so far I'm going to get about 15 vlogs out of this, I've only been here one day. So I'll wrap it up for there, I'm going to take a few photographs, as I just said, of the scene. I'm going to head back over that way, take a few photographs there and I'm going to head round. So I'll catch you soon. So I've decided to forego a trip to the other side of the cove for two reasons. One, factor 50. Oh, sun just got in. Factor 50 is not a substitute for a floppy heart. And two, a bag of crisps is not sufficient nutrition for a day, considering it's four o'clock. Also, something that made me chuckle, they chuckled as well. Um, a family just on the edge of the pier there obviously came to. Uh, deposit some um, ashes from a, a recently deceased and as they 
emptied them into the sea, which was wonderful. I did the same with my father. A gust of wind blew it back. So essentially you've got a couple of grains that went into the sea and the rest of the ashes are spilt down the side of the harbour wall. We call it gallows humour. So I'm probably looking a bit red, even though I'm in the shade. This is epic. I would highly recommend a visit to this place. As I said, you could spend all day here, and I would do it if I uh, wasn't a little burny. They're the, the rocks. They don't actually lead anywhere, but if you want a nice minimal long exposure, high contrast photograph, they'll work really well, obviously when the, the tide comes in. You've, all got, you've also got some, you probably can't see it, in the wall there, some carvings as if they've carved steps leading up somewhere. I've no idea where. That's the, oh, I can't see, that there's a rock with a little hole or arch leading through it. And that there, oh, it feels like a bloody travel programme. That's the houses we're talking about. That appears to be occupied. That appears to be possibly some kind of storage shed. And you have like a little boat house over there. So I'll sign off from there when I get back, get something to eat, get some rest, and uh, put my head in a, a cold bucket of water. Awesome. See ya. So this is the tunnel I'm engined. Oh. It must have taken a hell to have a lot of hours to dig this out. Towards the end, I'm going to have a quick nip around the other side. Oh, I look like a bloody panda. So I thought I'd pop round to the other side. There are the uh, huts, houses I was mentioning. If you want somewhere that's got history, that's got intimacy, that's got character and details, this really is the place to be. It's got everything. It's got the old huts. It's got the old the two little piers for long exposures. It's got detail in buckets. It's got old steps. It's got old fishing nets, it's got old crab baskets, it's got old mooring posts, mooring chains, remnants of what looked to be some kind of kind of a, a track, possibly to take away the fish. Not to take away the fish. I'll do you a, a quick 360. That's been Gimbal goes crazy. They're the old houses. One pier, two pier, boats, the main buildings. the sea, the long strips of rocks, when are we going, is it going to change, it's around there somewhere, no we can't see it, the old arches, well the arches just about there, the old steps are just about there, you've got the old houses with um, kelp hanging over the fence to, to dry for, to eat I suspect, apparently it's quite nutritious, and the strange thing is, my favourite word, so you've got the juxtaposition between the old houses and the power station right in the background. Thankfully the sun's gone in, so I can put my hat on and stop my head burning. Yep, I would highly recommend this. I shall get back home, get back home, I'll get back to the YHA, download all my media, have something to eat, have a quick rest. I will have a rest and relax in the uh, reception with a, a drink of lemonade before I have my tea. Yeah, it is. It's hard not to get emotional, if you like, in a place like this. It's almost like it's hidden from the world. <laughs>